In this time of celebration, the Indian Super League moves north to the capital, Delhi, and the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium, home of Punjab FC, who've made a great start to the season. They take on Owen Coyle's new look Chennai in. For who would it be Diwali delight? For who? A Halloween horror show. It's the second game of match week on match day one. Leon Augustin drops to the bench. Musha Bakenga and Azmir Sulic are also among the substitutes. El Sinio has made three appearances off the bench. He and the series only managed 39 minutes so far. It's Punjab in their usual orange. Kicking from left to right in the first half. A chain strip for Chennai tonight. Very smart new white and yellow kit for the Marina. A chance. And of course, a little bit low on confidence at the moment. Good ball in though, headed away by Novoselets. Driven back in again, but well, wide of the target. The table looked before kickoff. Both sides at the moment obviously have a point. That's uh, just bobbling around a little for Pulga Vidal, who hit it on the up but couldn't. Philip Merselak. Oh, tried to pull it back. Nihal was racing through the middle. Chennai have defended it well. Laldin Poya. It's Farouk just using his body and turning away from his man. Then he's Juliana trying to prevent the cross. It's bobbling around. Luka Machin blocked by Laldin Poya and then blocked behind off Abi Mitai. Farouk. That's a nice ball, just spreading play out a little bit here to Irfan Yadwan. Coming back inside and trying his luck, but again, it's another effort that goes wide of the target from her. As Chennai did beat Adisha in their opening game, that's in towards Jordan Gill. Irfan Yadwan's header, but again, no real direction on it, just headed it straight to Ravi Kumar. Here's Lundim, does well, gets to the byline, Lundim pushed away back into play. Brilliant block again, Poya who stuck out a leg. From Biller once again, lovely ball through. Jordan Gill! <laughs> One tonight here. You cannot defend that kind of ball. Another select caught flat footed. And Jordan Gill gets another goal here to put Chennai in, in front. Scores for the third successive match against his former club and Chennai lead. What a ball through, and Jordan Gill, exactly what we were saying, start moving forward. Brambilla from behind the halfway line, what a ball into space, and the Colombian only knows one way when he gets one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, but what a pass this is. Novoselic has no idea, he's not facing the play, and the goalkeeper comes up, but the Colombian says, I'm going to score, and I'm not going to celebrate. Ready to take... Chennai's second corner of the game. Much deeper one. Ryan Edwards back across. Whistle's gone. It won't count. Pushed by Ryan Edwards. I think that's what the whistle's gone for. It looked like a good header from the captain, but Pratik Mondal's whistle went immediately and the goal's disallowed. I'm not sure if the linesman put his flag up here. Somebody saw something that they didn't like immediately. And no, it was from the referee's eyes. I'm not sure Edwards here for me. He's gained a slight advantage. I mean, he's jumped at the last moment there and put his arms right up in the back of Matchen. But across the, go the goal here, was it a hand? Didn't play out. Uh, the right hand side has uh, been more beneficial, but they are using the wings a lot. It's going to be a foul by Abi Mitai and a yellow card. Salak outside him. Good looking ball in. Luca Matchen. It's a slightly heavy touch. Side netting. Depth to run into there is the whistle to bring us to the end of a first half it took a little bit of a while to get going but when it did it was a wonderful goal a finish from Jordan Gill to score for the third successive match thanks mainly to the ball from Lucas Brambilla wonderful ball through the defence away from Novelets will be Chennai in to get us underway in the second half all in white leading by a goal to nil and looking to go fourth in the table tonight with a third win of the season. And another game on the road. Six of their first ten are away from the Marina Arena. Turn to get him away from Hanamte. Trying to slip it through. Luca Matches onside! What a start to the second half of Punjab! Well, they made the change, but Leon Augustin hasn't touched the ball yet. It's another defence-splitting pass that's put Punjab in. And the man in the mask gets Punjab back on level terms. Second goal of the season.
and Chennai in, sleeping at the start of the second half. It's 1-1. One, one. It's criminal to do that from the get-go. If you're a Chennai in player, you cannot allow this sort of thing to occur in the middle of the park. It's a great move. Merzilak stepping forward. It's a great curved run from Luka Matchett. And Edwards kept him on side and he kept his composure. The big number nine up front returning from that facial injury. It might be Halloween tonight, but the only people he's scaring are Chennai in and that back line. It's a beautiful move and it really came off the run of play, but you've got to keep your eye on players like Luka Matchett. He'll come back to haunt you. That's his first goal from open play this season, having scored from the penalty spots against the Kerala Blasters. Shaken ahead from Ryan Edwards. Ipsen now to say that lost the ball in midfield to Mersalak. Slip forward by Paul Gavidal. Great ball, Matchin! Would you believe it? He's there again. And it's laid on a plate this time. Got himself into the right position, and Chennai in. Well, I mean, Coyle, a look at disbelief of Riley Stump. Well, all these half time team talkers got completely out the window within three minutes of the start of the second half. Luca Machin gets his second goal of the game, and Chennai in have been opened up once again. It's a great moment from Vidal and Lundin, who decided to just keep going. One, two, and the Chennai in players are standing and watching, but what about the movement? from Luka Matchin just pulled away from his marker at the last moment. Watch the step away. And the delivery from Lungden is exceptional inside the six-yard box. Keep the <laughs> keep the mask on, Matchin. <laughs> You're scaring everybody. Maybe that's his lucky omen. Hang on here. Chance here in for Brambilla. Good defending though as Farouk tried to play that ball across. Did have a goal disallowed in the first half. Edwards for a push on match and in it comes again. Edwards header. That comes off a defender, does it? Has that gone for another corner? Edwards is claiming it is a corner, but gives it away to Erfan Yadwad. Yamitai chasing back. Brambilla through the middle. Farouk. Tries his luck long way out. Have to be something a bit special to beat Ravi Kumar from that sort of range. Jordan Gill was in it. And they've got to play their cards right. They've got two big target men up the top now. And here come Punjab. Makenga. Against Edwards. Lovely ball across. And it's Asmir Sujic that makes it 3 1. And the two substitutes combine. First Indian Super League goal for the Hungarian. And once again, that Chennai defence has been opened up. Bakenga, who's only just come on, getting the ball across. And I'm sure Asmir could hardly believe the luck that he got and the space that he got in the middle to finish simply beyond the goalkeeper. It's 3 1 Punjab. It's unheard of to get this amount of space in a game of football. The defending line, they're all over the place. Edwards doesn't match the run. He does his best to try and get in there, but nobody can match the run of Aspia there, getting right across. And you talked about Bakenga scoring a lot of goals. Look at him get his head up there. And he understood that big man Edwards was going to make that step. And he played it right through the legs. And Aspia Sulic was not going to miss from that position. And they're 3-1 up, Punjab. Here he comes again. The tackles gets the ball back. Went for the little. I thought he was going to try and chip that one, but it's on by Chima Chukwu. Farouk. Jordan's in the middle. Just the wrong side of the post again. The Chennai in this time. He have an impact in the time that remains. It's a long range header. Easy though for Ravi Kumar to gather that one in. Vinci Barreto. Cut his shields, went for placement, and the clearance of Novelets just is out of the reach of Daniel Chimachuk. All almost spilled at the feet of Jordan Gill there by Ravi Kumar, just managed to hang on to it. It's an awkward one for him because it looked like he was about to bounce just in front of him. Took out that massive reward there for keeping possession. Punjab. Lovely ball for him. Bakenga! Oh, he get the ball out of his feet. That's gone out of play and just 
and a half sighted goal there by Kenga. Start. Two goals in one minute and 50 seconds by Luka Machin. And that's Diliana skying that one away. He squeezed that one down the line for Vinci Barreto, but was blocked. Connor Shields does well. Great ball in. And Fanny Adwell at the back post. Jordan Gill goes back to Vinci. Blocked in front of goal and then a heavy challenge. Vinci Barreto. Diliana, lovely ball inside. Can he come up with a telling cross? It takes a slight deflection. Ravi Kumar spills it. And it will be Jordan Gill who gets his second of the game. It surely will be a consolation. But for once, he just squirmed away from Ravi Kumar. And it was Jordan Gill who was on the spot to get his second of the match. And that great ball down the line. Good ball in from Diliana. Good strikers hang around until the end of the game and hope and pray things like this fall soon. He scored a goal in the last game that just bounced off him. And it's not great to watch in terms of the defending. But that'll be full time. There's no more time for Chen Ai in. Well, it is pretty much the final kick of the match. Jordan Gill getting his second goal of the game. But Luka Machin turned out to be the match winner for Punjab in a way because he got those two goals right at the start of the second half. And a key time as well because he meant Chennai's team talk went straight out the window from well, the very first seconds.